Hey, Tasha here with Emerge Sales Training. And today what I want to talk about is how to acknowledge the awkward. This is one of my favorite topics when it comes to sales and leadership in network marketing. Here at Emerge, our goal is to give you hope, confidence, and skills for your network marketing business. And we do a ton of work around leadership development. And uh, acknowledging the awkward is one of my favorite topics and techniques. And here's kind of how it works. Uh, we have all the time people will say, well, here's this awkward situation. How do I handle it? And I'll say, tell me about the awkward situation. And they'll say something like, well, here's what it is. And then I will respond with, well, what if you just told them that? Um, admitting opening up and acknowledging the awkwardness of a situation actually builds a lot more trust. So let me go ahead and explain exactly how this works. Uh, what I want you to think about is can we be completely transparent with our communication and not, um, you know, barfing information on them and telling them everything about everything, but what if you just acknowledge the awkward situation? So here are, I'm going to talk about some sales situations and I'm going to talk about some leadership situations as well when things just kind of get a little awkward and how would you go about lessening the awkwardness and actually using the awkwardness as an opportunity to build trust. So here are some questions that have come up from different clients, right? Uh, I've encouraged you to ask many questions and sometimes they feel like they might be coming out of the blue. Uh, tell me about your health goals or when you buy makeup, what's important to you. The other, a while ago, I had a client share, I feel so uncomfortable entering the closing process with people that I know. Another client shared, I'm gonna show products, and the hostess didn't even tell them that's what we were doing. It's gonna be, it was so, it's gonna be so awkward, and I'm worried that they'll be upset or I'll be weird, what do I do? And so to take the awkward out of any situation, just acknowledge it with a buffer. So what is a buffer? I'm gonna read this for you. The dictionary definition of a buffer is, a person or thing that prevents incompatible or antagonistic people or things from coming into contact with or harm each other. Now, it's a little hard to explain this theoretically, so I'm gonna walk you through some examples of buffers from some of the examples that I just gave you, and I'm sure this will help you to understand the concept and apply it with much success. So, uh, example number one, tell me about your health goals. This is a great question because it helps to connect the dots between what they want to achieve in life and your products but sometimes it can feel a little out of the blue so the easiest way is to buffer it uh, to explain why you are asking so something like this I don't want to bore you with details that you don't care about so tell me about your health goals right transparency I want to personalize this appointment specifically to the things that you care about so tell me about your health goals so on um, example number two, closing with people that you have known for years. This is awkward, right? All of a sudden you get uncomfortable, you start acting like a weirdo. Guess what? It's weird for them when you act like this too. So for this situation, just call out the awkwardness and explain what you, how you're going to go about this so you'll be more comfortable. Okay, so just acknowledge it. I'm gonna show you a few kits. Now, I tend to get a little uncomfortable with people I know. So if I start acting weird and unlike myself, will you cut me a break, okay? Thanks. I'm just going to do this exactly the same way I would do this with someone I don't know. Is that cool? Yes. I'm sure they're going to say, don't worry about it. You're good. And then you can go through the buying process without acting like a weirdo. You can actually serve them and it'll work out the way it needs to. Uh, example number three I mentioned earlier, the hostess didn't tell them you were coming to the party. Uh, this one cracked me up. So one of my clients was copied on the invite. It said nothing about her coming. She felt really nervous. And so what I recommend is just acknowledge it. Say, hey, um, did you guys like how Nancy tricked you into, you know, a, a party on this product? I got you. Just kidding. I had nothing to do with it. She figured you were the one she'd want to invite anyway, so she invited me as well. I'm going to jam through the most popular products. If you want to buy something great, if not, no worries. You guys can hang out. Um, and my client let me know that this worked really, really well. Everyone laughed. They understood. Three out of four people bought. Not bad at all. Uh, what about with following up with someone who's supposed to order? Now, this one, um, this one gets me because I get super anxious when someone's like, okay, yeah, I'm going to sign that coaching contract. Or, yeah, I'm going to get this thing. 
and I want to follow up with them, but I don't want to be like a stalker. And so you could just tell someone like that, make fun of yourself a little bit, just say, Hey, sometimes I get like a little bit crazy. So I don't want to turn into that. So when can I expect that order to come through? And that way I'm not worried about it. And if anything goes awry, then I know exactly what to follow up with you. Uh, just telling them the truth. Um, let's see, another example, you screwed up. And I know this probably never happens, but maybe you forgot the phone call. You forgot the whatever, right? Your customer follow-up hasn't isn't as good as you want it to be. I think we just have to acknowledge it. So let's say you're calling a customer that you should have been following up with you have not been following up with people. So if you just call them and say, hey, how's it going? They're gonna mistrust you. They're gonna say, what the heck? You haven't called me in forever, so what if you just said that? Hey, I know I haven't reached out to you forever, in forever, and I'm trying to do a better job with consistently working with people. You know, Do you have a couple minutes to chat or something like that? And they'll say, oh, no, 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 no. it's fine. Don't worry about it, I'm busy too. And this works really, really well. I think about one of my really good friends, Tiffany, that we never talk, but when we do, it's always perfect. And I'll just text her and I'll be like, I'm the worst friend. I miss you. Let's hang out, right? And it's just acknowledging the awkward. I have not been awesome, but I'm here now and I care about you. And it works in all areas of, of life to just acknowledge that awkward, awkward part of it. Um, so those are some sales situations. Let me uh, explain some leadership situations since a majority of what I do now is on the leadership side. So I have some written down for you. Uh, so remember this, one of the best ways to build trust is to admit the truth. If you don't admit it, they'll be resistant and you'll be uncomfortable. So how about this? Uh, here's a leadership buffer. I'm gonna ask you some questions I've never asked before. If it's a little clunky, will you give me some grace? Or I'm gonna teach you a technique that I have, you're the first person I'm teaching it to, so if it's a little clunky, is that cool? Um, I don't know, here's another one. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Uh, can I share with you what I think and then you can give me feedback? If you're getting nervous that the idea that you have isn't the best, what if you just admitted that? I think this is a good idea. I'm not sure it's the best idea. Let's go over it and then you can tell me what you think and give me some feedback instead of pretending like this is the best idea ever and you're sure it's gonna work. Uh, number three, leadership buffer. I'm thinking this might be something that might make you feel uncomfortable. So maybe you're asking someone to ask for referrals or invite someone to a recruiting conversation or something that they haven't done before. Thinking this might be something that you may be a little bit uncomfortable with since you haven't done it before. If we practice, would that be helpful? Uh, a buffer when it comes to recruiting. Let's say you have this person that you have never invited to learn about how uh, your business works. And what if you just said that, right? If you said something like, hey, I was thinking about you this morning. Now it needs to be true, of course. I was thinking about you this morning and I realized I'm such a dodo head. I have never even asked you if this question. Now, if whatever you decide is totally cool with me, um, but I just feel really silly that I've never asked you this. And so, uh, you know, do you mind if I ask you a question? They'll say no. Okay, well, would you like to learn how to earn money with blah, blah, blah company? And, you know, you'll get a few responses, right? You'll get, yeah, actually, I was just thinking about that. Or you'll get, no, like that's not really for me, but I appreciate you asking, or you'll get a maybe. And that honesty is really, really helpful to create authenticity. Another uh, really big advantage of acknowledging the awkward is it gives our team members the bravery to be awkward as well. When we show up as leaders thinking we have everything all together, which we know is not true, and we pretend that we have everything together, then it sends a message to our team that they need to have everything together before they move. Now, I'm not saying to always talk about what a disaster you are, that's not helpful, but to just acknowledge the awkwardness of the situation is really, really, really helpful. And so I really wanna urge you that whenever you're coming across this thought of, gosh, what do I say? Like, how do I acknowledge the situation? How do I go into it? 
just think, okay, what's the situation? And could you just say that to the person before you communicated the next thing? And I think it's going to work really, really well for you. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you would like to learn more about Emerge Sales Training, we have uh, different resources for you, but probably the best thing to do would be to either check out um, some of, we do a lot of live free, free coaching and training. So you can check that out at EmergeSalesTraining.com slash free training if you have not done one of those. Now, if you've already done one of those and you're at the end of this video here, that I'm going to recommend that you hop over and get into one of uh, whatever your next course is. So you can check out our different courses at EmergeSalesTraining.com slash courses. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.